All right, I have a lot of questions. Um, okay. I heard a few things that I haven't really heard. I have a vague idea, but what is the sacred chamber? Sacred chambers is a specific process that was initiated by the divine around the world where certain people who are uh, have that kind of empowerment or that kind of relationship with the divine can host the sacred chambers in their homes. So sacred chambers at that time is uh, three rooms. And uh, in the first room is preparation. Second room is where you go in and you, if you're sick, if you're upset, if you have issues, that's where you explain that to the divine. Then you go into the third chamber and uh, in the third chamber, the bond and the connection is made with the divine and you receive grace. So you're, so the rooms are like portals where you can talk to God because God is sitting right in front of you. It's not out in the sky somewhere. They're just right there. They're always right there. But uh, most people don't know that, especially in the West. They think God is out somewhere in some exalted place. And uh, so this is a situation where you can go right in and just talk like I'm sitting talking to you. And then they handle everything for you. And the, you receive the miracles and the situation has changed. And, and who designs these sacred chambers? The divine. The, the, the people have a particular level of consciousness and a particular bond that's very strong with the divine. So they act as the conduit. And then the, the rooms are just conditioned and, and uh, designated for that purpose. And then, then the, uh, you don't have to do, the, the host doesn't have to do anything. You just walk in and the uh, audience chamber is already arranged. I see. And it's for specific. So if you, wherever you are, if you Google sacred chamber process, there's a very good likelihood that someone is hosting sacred chambers there. Sacred chambers is always free. It's not a business. And you you just go there to receive grace. So I used to attend those uh, once a week, twice a week. And then if, uh, I was receiving Diksha, you know, uh, every day, all the time. Diksha alters the brain. So when you when the brain is altered, so they they this has been studied by functional brain scans at the University of Pennsylvania. <clears throat> when you receive a diksha, it means you're getting a direct blessing, where the divine uh, gives you a, a energetic uh, transfer into your brain, and at that time it lights up the frontal cortex, especially the left prefrontal cortex, like a Roman torch. And it starts to go through the parietal lobes and disassemble areas in the brain that are responsible for things like fear, worry, anxiety, uh, stress. They just they just start to become disassembled. The purpose of the diksha, the purpose of the sacred chambers, is awakening, enlightenment. And in order for that to happen, the brain must be changed. You cannot enlighten a normal human brain. Absolutely impossible. And only the divine can do it. 